Hi guys, it's um, Pete from uh, Chamonix Home Automation. I'm here today to show you our uh, single gang Wi-Fi touch switch. Uh, this is uh, basically to uh, replace your resistor switch and you add a little capacitor in so you don't need to run a neutral down to your back box. So um, we have our uh, usual setup on the table, we're ready to go. We've got a uh, a light switch and a uh, light bulb in our light bulb holder with a ceiling rose and some wire to uh, represent your mains cables um, so obviously normal switch like that so first thing to do is switch off power once we've switched off the power I think uh, we we'll start by uh, changing the switch so uh, let's first get the uh, the new switch out of our box so uh, this comes with uh, instructions and other items inside we have a little uh, capacitor some new screws we won't need them because uh, we use the original ones but uh, they're there if you need them um, instructions always good so let's start by taking the switch apart so undo your uh, your old original switch Right, now we've got the uh, screws out switch, we can uh, take it out, uh, there's a wire, as you'd expect to see, back box, earth wire in it, um, live, two live wires, one's the switch live, uh, now you need to get the other screwdriver, get that, so then just take your uh, original switch off, don't worry about the earth wire, won't we need to touch that, that comes off, new switch, uh, just something to bear in mind with these light switches because of the processor inside them to connect to your Wi-Fi system uh, they uh, are a little bit deeper than your probably your original switch so uh, if you have a back box that's roughly 30 mil deep then uh, you won't have any problems but um, like in my house mine weren't that deep I had to uh, remove the original back boxes um, deepen the, the hole in the wall slightly and uh, and then put the back box in. The other option is you can get a spacer which fits uh, under, under the light to obviously uh, gain that extra depth. I personally don't think that looks as tidy but it depends on how much work you want to do and how bad you want a Wi-Fi light switch. Um, so basically uh, as you can see if I pop that into there now that, uh, that will have to go quite a way into the back box doesn't leave masses amount of room so just bear that in mind now it's time to connect the switch so we have our uh, brown wire which is our permanent live uh, that will go to the l terminal we have our uh, blue wire which is our switch live which will go to the l2 uh, terminal on the switch so uh, let's just get them connected up so Get the brown wire into the L. Do the terminal up if you can. And then the blue wire into the L2. Do that one off as well. Right. There we go, nice and tight. Uh, now we're ready to uh, fit the switch to the back box. So if you see at the end of here, there is a place to put your screwdriver in. So we can put our screwdriver in there, give it a twist, and then the front will come off. Basically put it back down in, and we can screw in the screws into the back box there. Uh, obviously be careful not to catch the wires in behind there with the screws. So we'll pop the screws back in. You can uh, use the ones that come with the light or you can use the original ones. I'm just going to use the original ones because uh, I know they fit and uh, I'll keep the other ones for a spare. Right, so let's get them screwed down in. Um, if you'd like to purchase any of these items uh, we show on these videos, you can uh, find us uh, on with our eBay shop. Or, uh, put the uh, item numbers into the description also uh, please bear in mind we do sell other options for uh, automating your lights and other items on 
on our eBay shop, so please take a look at those, uh, see our other video. Okay, once we get these uh, screws in all the way down tight, obviously when it's on your wall you want to make sure it's nice and level, just looks nice. They're down, then you can get the front cover, put the front cover back on, and just basically uh, from the from the top there's uh, some little um, hook bits there, you just hook in and just press it down to the bottom, that's done. You can now uh, remove your front uh, cover protector for the screen. Very nice looking switch I think. Um, and uh, now I can show you how to connect up the uh, capacitor into the sealant rose. Right, now then uh, you need to remove the cover from the uh, sealant rose. So spin that off there, get to our wires. Right, basically the instructions are telling us to fit the uh, capacitor between the um, neutral wire of the filament uh, lamp holder and the power wire, the plus positive of the uh, lamp holder there. So basically we, we need to fit this capacitor just between there and there. Two outer terminals, keep it nice and simple. Then that will tuck inside our uh, ceiling rows once we've finished and uh, we can put power on and uh, do that so uh, I'll carry on and do that now. Okay now that's uh, fit the capacitor in um, so I'm going to bring it through from uh, the other side of the wires going to the uh, light fit in and just tuck one side straight in the uh, first terminal if I can. Okay, make sure it's right in there. Do up that first terminal. Right, now let's get the other wire and just straighten it out a little bit so we can get it in there easier. Right, and then that will just go in the other end terminal. So we've got one on one side, one on the other, into there. Do this just grew up nice and tight. There we go. Then we can fit the uh, cover back on. Let's make sure that's in a position where we can. go now I'll just sit up in there and uh, that's the wiring done so we can uh, put power on now and start setting it up right guys now we've uh, connected up our wires we've got our capacitor into our ceiling rows now ready to put power on so uh, if we get the power on um, first things you'll see once you put power on is that the uh, little Wi-Fi symbol on the top of the switch uh, starts flashing blue and the uh, blue circle lights up where the uh, centre of the touch switch is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well because of the uh, light in here. At night time it's a really nice feature. You can you can just find the switch easy when you come into the room and it's dark. Um, we just test the functionality of the switch now. So uh, basically just touch tap on the top of the switch and the light comes on and do the same again and it goes off. Um, perfect. Uh, now we uh, need to connect it to um, our Smart Life app and then we can uh, later on connect it to the Alexa app. Okay, now we're all uh, connected up and we've got power on. Uh, we uh, need to download the Smart Life app. You can do this by um, going into the instructions for the device and there is a QR code. You can use your camera on your phone and it will pick it up and download it for you. Or you can go to the uh, App Store and uh, search Smart Life and find the app, it's free of charge. Um, so that's the way forward to do that. So once you've done that, then you need to uh, register a username and uh, a password. Um, I've already done that, so I'll just go straight into the app. Um, this is what it looks like. So if you go in the top uh, right hand corner, there's a uh, blue plus symbol. Press on that. Uh, I always just go to auto scan. Um, once we do that, we need to press on the switch and hold the uh, on button for uh, five seconds. So I'll do that now. Hopefully, 
and I'll put our light into Wi-Fi mode and the little blue uh, Wi-Fi light will start flashing fast. John. Yes, it has. Right. And there it is, it's found it on the app. So basically we can just press next then. There we go, it's there. It's uh, saying it's added it onto there. It's already, because um, my uh, account's linked, it just showed you that it's uh, automatically linked it straight into the Alexa app. Uh, but we'll uh, go in and look at that in a second. You need to rename the item, so press on the uh, little edit uh, pencil looking symbol there, delete the name out and I'm just going to call it demo just keep it simple need to do that so uh, we know what it's called when we uh, link it to the voice activation um, that's done, that's all ready to go um, if you press on there it will switch the light on now, switch it off, that shows the uh, app is working fine Okay, now uh, the next step is to uh, link it to Alexa. Obviously, again, if you haven't got the Alexa app already, uh, you need to download that the same way as uh, usual. Log in, make up your password. I've uh, already done that, so uh, I'll just click on the app uh, symbol there. Now you need to go to the um, top button here on the left-hand side, Skills and Games. And you need to search, which is the top right hand corner, that little magnifying glass, and put in Smart Life. Okay, Smart Life app. This will bring it up. Smart Life app here. Obviously, I've already got this. Uh, basically, what you need to do is put in your uh, username and your password for your Smart Life app and uh, enable Alexa to use it. Um, you can always disable this by pressing the grey disable skill button there. Once you've done that then you can click on the device button down the bottom right hand corner. You can uh, add, a, add a new device so you can click on the plus there. Add a device and it's going to be a switch and it will be just go on other discover devices wait for it to do its thing, it would uh, it'll hopefully find it uh, then we can um, link it and uh, straightforward enough we should be able to uh, use it okay once it's found it, it will appear in all your um, devices, it will say uh, new device you can just tap on it there you, and then you can use that again manually switching it off, this is uh, still on the Alexa wrap so that's working fine Okay guys, that's it. We've uh, got it all connected up, so now we can give it a try with the uh, voice activation. So, uh, Alexa, switch on demo. There we go. And Alexa, switch off demo. There we go. So that's working fine. Hope you like the videos, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up.